Yeah! Let's rock the gnar! Yeah, that's right. Wheeling kings and creaking stars. We're a ragtag brotherhood of expert whitewater warriors called the Crazy Kayak Crew. Yeah, look at this. Crazy rafters. We don't usually see rafts on the extreme rivers in our neck of the woods. Lake Superior rivers are technical with narrow channels, lots of obstacles, deep rapids, and usually even waterfalls. But these guys are busting in with a new trend. Oh, it's exciting to see them. Like the captivating allure of seeing a train wreck, but with reason to cheer at the end. Ah, but let me go back to how this whole adventure began. A group of us paddlers from around the Midwest we're meeting up for a paddling trip. The ironic thing is, we had planned on heading south to Georgia and warm paddling for a long power drive weekend. But with heavy rain having hit our local rivers, we could stay closer to home and get more time on the water than on the road driving. So, our bearings were now set to head north. Ah, but you know, why chase water when it's right in your backyard? When water is running and diehard paddlers get to a river, they're down for a run. As long as you can see, hitting a little gnar in the dark ain't bad for the soul. Rain turned to heavy snow for a wild, surreal treat. Warm comfort awaited us at a cabin oasis in the woods. Good for a little fire and food to toasty stove the body and soul. When we awoke, Mother Nature had gifted us with a surprise wonderland of surreal beauty. One we were anxious to experience from the river. Midwest boating at its best, or at the extreme. The beauty was amazing. It was surreal, a true treat, and rare to have such a river experience. Everything was engulfed with snow. We were all in awe. It was enough to experience this phenomena without running rapids. But the roar of their approach foretold our attention and excitement was soon to escalate from river beauty on to the action. Portaging and scouting rapids is all part of the process of running a river. But the allure is the rapids. So obscure, you know. On the approach? There's no definite. Like a feature that says, there's my mark. Right. I think you kind of want to be where the foam piles up. You know, right next to the boil. I got to make sure of that though. Yeah, you want to get this right. Right loop stroke. You know, you'll sail either way. Whatever stroke you take, you'll. Yeah. yeah. I think the biggest thing is like if you hit it wrong, you might corkscrew. Uh -huh. That's why it's a righty, I think, right? That's why I'm just going to do right just to break yeah. the balance. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Because it wants to kind of roll you right, so you kind of want to yeah. hold it. Right. 
Tony, can you give us a hoot on approach so I know camera rolling? Because I won't see you. I can try, but I don't know how if well you, you're being. If you remember, you remember, so yeah. what? I'll keep an eye out for you. You'll be fine. All right, see you guys. As soon as I see him, I'm stepping out on that rock three feet out underwater because there are tree branches in the way that'll block. Oh, and others are still making plans. does with Tony if it bounces him left or right. We've got pretty solid landmarks through the whole rapid. So it's always nice to see somebody else run this. Kind of establishes a little more confidence and self-assuredness. Yeah, you get to see if the water pushes him right, you know, you, then you've got to anticipate that pushing right. And, and there's entertainment right. factor too. Yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> Woo! It's cold out here. Yeah. Encore, encore for another run. I think I'm going to put in the SETI right here, heel out into the current, and try to be on the left of that launch pad flake out there. The lead into this is pretty tricky, but it's really fun. Them nice and tight. Have a wild ride, man. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Out of the eddy, into the action. Woo! Coming off that pad feels so amazing. I know. It's Just like floating. sprouting wings and flying away. The lead in is really tricky, so that's really fun. But I thought, you know, like, like Tony was like, I just peel out of the eddy and hook it. That was just really, really fun because, you know, there's less forces acting upon you and ready to kind of screw you up and send you in the wrong direction. Yeah, you're not coming in with all that speed, so you're able to just peel out and be right where you need to be. And then when you come in with a lot of speed, you're just following the water, then it kind of falls off towards the, the right side. Cool. Yeah, Woo! right there, man! <laughs> no matter what the conditions, surreal snow, cold winter day, gloomy, the focus is still on the white water. Thrilling feature or exciting set of rapids elate the spirit like nothing can. Yes, Leaving paddlers okay. feeling satisfied <laughs> to the core. We've got the back end sticking way out. <laughs> we got, the, we got it way, way back on the thing. But I can't go anywhere. <laughs> it's weird to see boats that are all full of snow. It's like, yeah, 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 man, it's our ca kayaking camo. Yeah, nobody can see our boat in the winter. <laughs> yeah. So, that's the show. That's the show, <laughs> The Crazy Kayak Crew. This is wild to see all the incredible, beautiful snow freshly made. And we're going kayaking. Yeah, whitewater rocks. That following day would be full of action. The Presque Isle is a big commitment with lots to do to be ready. You need to develop a plan for this one. We're in the UP of Michigan. We're putting on the river here. Got about eight, 10, 12 inches of snow on the ground. Hopefully we get out there and get real wet. <laughs> See some sort of American creatures like bald eagles and man bear pigs. Cause we're up for a wild experience today, right? It's gonna be a good day. We're not just tourists. Oh, we're tourists. <laughs> we're just floating down that there river. Maybe we might hit some white water. I don't know. We really don't know what to expect. Stop. 
Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that what y'all desire. And that'd be a boat ride. Yeah! Because it looks like maybe right with some water or some viable lines. See that log at the top in the water? See that left tongue? Yeah. I'd probably go on the right side of the left tongue. It looks like it flows pretty good that way. You got the whole side here. It's chunky. It comes out like three times at the bottom. Check safety. Make a plan. Execute it. And have fun. I like that idea. Woo! We paddle some long rivers with lots of rapids. For paddlers new to the river, boat scouting is helpful for passing information on about what's ahead and where the known treachery is. But again, that long river leaves little time to spare. Some rapids, you need to get out of your boat to scout. I mean, you'd be just to the right, ground, just to the right of that, sorry. And then you'd be just to the left of that sloping pile of green one. Okay, don't take the green all the way down. I want to be left of this hole here. No, you want to be right. The in between the two holes. Okay. The one the so you see, the two holes. so yeah. you see this top hole here? Yeah. The one that's right behind Dan. Yeah. This guy. You want to be just to the right of that. You want to be just to the right of that. And then you want to ride that green water all the way through that. The one thing that I will warn you is that I've seen happen to people is they calm down and it'll auto eddy you into that right pocket. And to get out of that right pocket, you pretty much have to paddle back into the hole. Which hole right here? The pocket at the bottom on the right. The eddy on the bottom oh. on the right. See how it's super circulative? Oh, so you're saying the eddy will feed me? It'll auto eddy people. So you'll call, you'll resurface basically oh. with the eddy. Gotcha. Don't freak right, out right at the happens. wall. Yeah, right on the right wall. Right at the wall. Don't freak out just, if it happens. No. Hang in there and roll up. You're gonna have it's to calm in there. You're just bobbing. You can get out of yeah. there. You just got to keep your wits. Yeah, you're going to have to paddle back into the hole to get out of there. 
Yeah. Towards the it, hole. It, it, it's it, it, just it, it, the way it is. Yeah. yeah. You'll be fine. But, you won't go in the hole, but towards the hole. Hell yeah. Just, Pretty fired up. With the dangers of whitewater, you want to get it right and for everything to go well. But you're here for the action and you want to run it. Clint! Ready? We're going to want to space out better for this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, dangerous stuff. So taking precautions like having a safety rope can prevent a bad day on the river. Yeah, so this I throw to somebody if they're stuck in there. Yeah. That's not a good thing. down a bit, dishing out a long, deceptive calm. But the final mile to the lake exhibits a different mood with precipitous drops and intense action. Tell me what spot you're looking at. So we're going to come in here, see the seam on the right hand side, got a little shelf here, hug that, right, right off the lip, pretty calm there, coming right off that right side lip. So you're going out as far as that thing right there? Not this. Not that. Right we're out here. Get all picturesque and get as far out on that lip as you can. Okay. What about you, Tony? Where are you going? Are you doing the same thing? Yeah. Hit it. Line. You guys didn't like the right wood or something? There's wood over there, and then the, the lip of it is kind of like more bony. It's more up jutted, so the water kind of does this off of it. Okay. So you think you need a little more water. Right, yeah, all right. Well, you guys have a good line. Should be great. Now, into the action. What'd you think? Oh, dude, good times, man. Nice soft landing. Everybody had good lines. That was sweet. Tell really me good. in your gut what you felt like. You know how it felt? It felt like America. <laughs> it felt like free. So much. More of that patriotism hard at work. We're in America right now. We're being free. <laughs> like a bald eagle. Yeah. And this is definitely home of the free and the brave, oh, right? Oh, gotta be brave to be free. That's true. That is fact. <laughs> Facts and opinions can always be questioned. But he's right about being free on this river. And I'd say with what the press guy will dish is out, there's a need to be brave too. And there's the reward of ending an adventure on the great Mother Lake. Woo. <laughs> you can't be filming this. So, yeah, this, this, this man is to man. not allowed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, after a satisfying day on the river, full of action, hanging out and socializing, philosophizing, relaxalizing, gnarlizing, horsing around Izine, and telling tall tales, just seems to be natural for a while. 
It's all evidence of the bond that develops from a shared intense adventure experience. Well, guys, what do you think? Yeah. 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 yeah, it's a food. Yeah, it's dinner time. A cozy haunt means settling in for some production work and a little relaxation. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! I must feed the beast to keep it that way. And the rest of the beasts around here gotta get fed too. That's pretty good. Paddlers love to see the action of the day. It's an entertaining reward for the danger and drama faced on the river. But this time, from a safe perspective. Would you like to gather with the crew to gawk at some gnar? Yeah! This is a feature called Nokomis. It starts up here with a sticky hole and then progresses down here to a quick slide drop into a deep hole. It's really intimidating and from above, all of this contour looks like you're looking downhill. It's really intimidating and impressive. We're just here to watch Tony run it first. All right, spectator sport for a while. Oh, yeah, spectator. Yeah. It's good to have a pro. Video action of the day feeds the soul. Now we're looking for some sweet dreams, not extreme. And on to the next river. It's good to get a look at what treachery we may encounter or perhaps to decide to avoid. It looks perfect, man. This drop is really gnarly because you have boils that are coming up at the lift and dropping over the waterfall itself from the rapid upstream. So they're disturbing your line. They might yeah. shove you to left or right, you're missing getting, up your position. Exactly. You're getting floated around, kind of pushed around with, by the boils at the lift before you drop in. You've got to be at the right spot. That's a really bad spot to be at the bottom if you're not on line. Right. The hole above this goes really deep and that whole pool is calm and it's, com it's coming up below this next waterfall here. So it's a really gnarly rapid. Deckers decked out in flashy Wunder gear, yeah? Like that suit. You ain't wearing that suit to church, are you, boy? Or is this your Sunday vest? Great for worshiping the gnar, huh? Yeah. What a day and place to paddle, with a smooth slide, beginning a voyage into a surreal land of Nar. The Black River in the UP of Michigan is a place of awe and fear. It's palatable for good reason, and our adventure saved some of the best action for last. This is where our story began, the rafting action. The Black is a river with little room for error or forgiveness. Being online is a sweet feeling, and sometimes a necessity to prevent injury or even to survive. Well, this has probably been ran more by rafters this year than kayakers. Really?
action adds up. But soon we came to the finale of the Black, one of the most impressive waterfalls in the Midwest, a notorious and ominous torrent called Rainbow Falls. It's a cascade of serious consequence, needing significant pondering if you brave a run because this drop can mean the difference between life and death. The biggest problem there is flipping and then riding that waterfall upside down. It really came down to my confidence level too. If, if I knew I could nail that line, I would have done it. I've run that rapid before, it's just really high today. I just wasn't feeling it. This one's high. That makes it a really powerful dynamic river, way above recreational level. This is a serious class five dangerous run. I feel really safe right now. <laughs> I hope you do if you're watching this. So sometimes your inner spirit tells you walking a rapid is the way to go. While for other paddlers who are feeling it strong and confident, the line is clear and the NAR needs to be attacked full on. Whoa, long time down. Whitewater kayaking is a blast, but it's not just about the river. It's about the adventures you have with your friends, being out in nature, and just the unexpected of what might happen. We enjoy doing this. Come on back anytime you like. We are the Crazy Kayak Crew.